Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Guys, the Stone Rhino has been out for a while now, uh, for money on the website, but it will also be available for MC and C builds quite soon. And I haven't done anything with it yet, so here we go guys. Today is the first day I'm actually presenting you the Stone Rhino, the big barrels, the 100 ton assault mech on the clan side, for all of you to watch and witness today. We are playing a quite straightforward build today with the Stone Rhino 4. There's nothing too special about the quirks. I mean, what we have is a ballistic heat of 7.5% and a heat of 5%, as well as velocity 15%, bit of armor. That is it. But more importantly, we have a bunch of ballistic hard points. And today I'm going to use four LB20X auto cannons. Very straightforward. We have four huge shotguns on the Stone Rhino. This thing just wrecks in close range. Um, and yes, we have 80 damage firepower. It's not too condensed because we we have like some splash with it however we can fire all of these weapons at the same time compared to for example ultra auto cannon 20s or something like that so really like the build for it's like big burst potential but you get to the point where you can actually unload that the further you are away the more trouble you will have and while you have a range of 300 and about 88 meters here in this uh, specific build um it's still not great and you want to kind of get into a brawling situation also be aware the cooldown is quite hefty we have a 3.7 or 3.616 second cooldown um so you want to shoot the enemy you want to then i don't know toss a twist or try to get back to cover or if you have friends that are distracting them you can then lock onto them and keep them in your eyesight to shoot again after a bunch of seconds so this is nothing that overwhelms quickly but it punches big holes into the enemy's armor when you get to shoot them once or twice or three times and by then it should be over Clan XL Engine 300, not the greatest one, but 52 kph is still pretty good. And for all of you who want to know how I made that happen with a 300, yes, I took some skills for mobility because I wanted it. But anyways, let's take a look at this here. We have cooldown maxed out because, again, want to fire as fast as possible, as often as possible. No heat gen because those very cold ballistic weapons don't need any of that. That frees up some points that I could then put into range. Only half range here because those were my leftovers. I wanted velocity, magazine capacity and LBX spread i think that's a no-brainer here for the good old projectile lbx weapons and then maximum armor hardening and skeletal density let's be real we shall we shall be on the front line we shall absorb a little bit of damage for the team not everything but a bit we are an assault mech so let's do our job and uh, absorb even more and then yes i took speed tweak and i took anchor turn for some baseline mobility in order to you know Get into a tight situation and then maybe get out of the tight situation if it's needed. He'll climb to get a little bit of verticality here. I want seismic sensor to know what's going on around me on the front line. A little bit of radar deprivation as well as a double UAV and one artillery strike today. You will see a cool shot in the first game. It's not needed. So yeah, that's the build everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty guys, let's go. We are playing Grimplexus. We are playing Skirmish. I should probably go right side. Yeah, let's go left side. It's fine. So we are a little bit slow. I hope that we can arrive at the battlefield at some point. That's a Catapult K2, obviously. Running light PPCs, right? It's four lights. Alright, interesting. I don't think that he can sustain four like regular PPCs or... I don't know if four snub noses are possible. But hey... Let's uh, let's take a look around here. We're gonna go to the Golf 8 area into Fox 8, probably into Fox 7, and hopefully have a good time there. I mean, first phase of the game is just getting into position. We want to try to to build team cohesion uh, as quickly as possible. But since we are playing skirmish, the enemies are coming from this angle, the Hotel 6 into Golf 6 into Fox 7, maybe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take off a little bit more, like to actually, is that true? I think so. Honestly? Yeah, I do believe so. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go to the right side a bit more because of that. We got range. A little bit. This is 388 meters, so anything... I hear they are already. Uh, anything that isn't about 500 is kind of hittable. I hate it. Uh, but I cannot stop moving right now. I can try to get a bit of depth of field so that they are not hitting properly. But that's a problem. Yep. 
Uh, chipping away at my armor. Let's dive down here so that we break line of sight and then move around here to the Fox 8 area. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's just a bane of an assault mech. If you're slow and your team is pushing that W button as hard as they can, then you have a problem at some point. But hey, it's fine, because we... Oh, interesting. Enemies might be in the Hotel 8, India 8 area, because that drop must have been come from this area. Um, what I wanted to say is uh, we, we don't really have a lot to do anyway, so we can just do whatever we want to do here. It's fine. It's totally fine. Getting into position is my first and foremost goal. And then we're gonna overpower them. PPC game is strong today. Or oh, the, the long range game. I've been playing a bunch of games where missiles, PPCs, hacks, all of it there. My, my teammates were completely suppressed like the whole time. And I was sitting there waiting. Trying to get into a position but nobody was going anywhere. So let's see how this one is gonna go. I have a feeling that maybe, maybe, I don't know, since you're watching this now, it's gonna go well. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have put it in the video, right? Okay, we got some light mechs here, we got a flea, and we have low ground against all of these snipers. Got a narc as well, so... Uh, I saw a raven earlier, so I believe that was the narca guy. One of ours is dead, that was the flea. No, the panther. The panther on the front line was narked. Hey, friends! You got all the cool weapons, huh? The cool weapons that can shoot at range. I want to help out as well. I will, eventually. Hopefully. Soften them up for me so I can snatch the kills later. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Again, there's no point going anywhere, because, again, teammates are sniping. Enemies are sniping. So, bringing a, I don't know, a brass knuckle to a gunfight, that's what we are doing here. Uh, alright. Alright, and we're gonna close in. We have some... Okay, don't block. Great. I mean, I wanted to say that I don't want to block him. Uh, I'm gonna close in, because I want to send a signal here. Hi. Blur. He felt that. He didn't take any damage, but he felt the impact. Uh, 600 meters range, Nova. Oh, and I have to lock uh, my arms here, which is not a thing that I enjoy a lot. It's kind of awkward. Cool, so we are in the trenches. Don't really want to push into them, because I have no way out again. Huh? That was a huntsman or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what are we pushing even? Like, what are these guys? We have a Kit Fox with ATMs, Nova. This left side is scary. Okay, let's go in. I see somebody. I don't see him anymore. We got an assault mech here. That's the other guy. All right. So, try again. And then we uh, back out of it. Uh, Fafnir, Pulses. Yeah, we could. Certainly, since we are in his back. Hey, friend! Take cover! I'll have it from here! <laughs> okay, that was great. That was great. There's another guy. Um, where to go? Uh, right side, Hotel 6, I'm gonna go. Oh, it's too much. Is there? Hey, Shadowhawk, I wanna stay. Alright, another one bites the dust. Marauder down there. Cool. Um, yeah, man, our friends on the other side of the battlefield, they have a problem, but we are perfectly fine here. We gotta keep the Marauder in mind, which is behind the pillar, but this guy is a target, and it's a good one. Look at his armor getting completely peppered. Yeah! Okay, so where's the Marauder? I think I'm gonna go for him. There it is. Uh, he's peeps, I can overpower him easily. Come on. That's half dead, man. Good. So, I'm gonna eat those ATMs. Tank for the team! Summoner is probably gonna disengage now. Oh, never mind. He's not gonna go anywhere. The problem is that the other side of the battlefield is kind of gone. I know we have a UAV above us, but it doesn't matter. Enemies know that we are here. Um, yep. The sniping continues. There's a guy. Wait, is the summoner still? Come on, take him. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. All right, so I want to stay in cover for the first phase of this encounter now because I don't really have a lot of armor. Being tip of the spears, right us, not really great. Uh, let's actually get high ground. Yeah. Take this little hill here as cover and get up to the Fox 7 area again. You can have some fun with these Phoenix Hawks, Skirmisher dudes. 
Um, I'm gonna push into Fox 7 now. Snapshot. <laughs> okay, Raven, be gone. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, pushing through Fox 8, Fox 7. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Ugh. Take my right side, I guess? Ah. Okay, we dealt some damage there. And he's gonna push through, and then he's turning around, he's gonna get killed before we can do anything, right? Never mind, yeah, he is. Okay, cool. So, now we gotta push down here because enemies have circled around us once more. Where are you? Where the hell? There's only one guy. Oh, they have turned the other way. But still, we are missing another target. Ah, oh, there they are. Okay, found all of them. So you can take the, the Phoenix. Um, I'm gonna go for the Osiris, which is not a target for me, because he's lagged, he's not gonna come towards us. And we already got the ATM guy as well. So you take Osiris, and is my UAV still here? Interesting. Um, and I'm gonna pursue the Phoenix, <laughs> which is not gonna happen. I'm just too slow and sluggish. But I would say we used our mech the proper way, being a big block of metal, delivering bursts of damage, and uh, soaking up some, dealing some damage, getting the kills, and it worked! 12 versus 3 in terms of kills here. I loved it. Cool. So, sometimes patience and a little bit of aggression wins the game. All right, pretty good. We now have 663. Again, we we dealt three, or we got three killing blows here. The damage dealt wasn't, like, huge, because the game was, I believe, decided in the early game when the enemies were softened up by our friends. So looking at the Enforcer here, looking at the, the Kodiak with the long range, uh, and the Blood Asp, obviously. Yeah, so these guys dealt the most damage because they could engage early. I could only engage, like, bunch of times and this is kind of the problem of the brawler it shines in the late or mid to late game uh in the early game you can start farming and we cannot it's fine let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down all right guys second game of the day we are playing the solaris city we are playing domination and i am very happy to see that somebody called the left side approach yeah we want to be in the face of the enemy love the map for the build because we have multiple avenues towards the enemy we can either cut across through the center we can just build that firing line in echo 5 and hold it and yeah it's it's beautiful lots of cover to walk towards the enemy we will be in short range and I like this, so this is approved. Let's take a look at what we can do though, because if we run into an enemy firing line, I can get one shot out, have to wait for my massive cooldown and then can shoot again and then I'd probably be dead. So I believe it's better to take it rather slow here. Um, so yeah, let's go with the team. Let's do something together. <laughs> A bit of, you know, armor sharing, target diversity, all the good stuff, so that the enemies cannot focus you. That's the important takeaway from this here. Again, we don't really have the greatest cooldown in the world. In fact, it's actually quite long. So, yeah, watch this. It's fine if we take a little bit early on, if we can retaliate. Blurp. It's not a lot of damage, but I'll take it. Alright, so setup is there. Um, you know what? I go through the center. You can have that flank. Uh, we have a mad dog and a rifleman coming with us here, potentially. I don't know. Um, let me go. Let me let me try to get something done here. Should probably go night vision. It's a bit better. Question is, are there any enemies in the Delta 4 area? 700 meters here. Okay, good to know. Okay, nobody here, so we're gonna watch this again. Incoming Echo 5. Incoming Echo 5. Yeah, we are we are here on the interception spot. Uh, they might be get in our backs, though. Okay, UAV here to know what's coming from behind. And yeah, we're gonna go. We are going to go. I like the commander here. That's pretty good, man. Hello. We're, we're holding this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, please, again, come on, come on. Yes, I need help you on the Nova Cat. Nobody? Okay, we got him. Thank you, Mr. Rifleman. That was one great kill. Good. We opened them up, and then there was the follow-up to actually finish them. Okay. Are they pushing me now? Uh, not really. Not really. Oh, my UAV tells me that there's something in the back, but they are disengaging again. This is a Brawling Stone Rhino as well. Oh, it's an Atlas. It's fine if we do this. It's completely fine. There is no closing in on the battlefield yet. 
my friends are not really coming, so we're gonna do the uh, peeking okay. job. And again. Okay. Um, you wanna stay there, buddy? I dropped Adi on them. You gotta be careful, though, because these enemies are scary. I love that UAV, by the way. It's beautiful. That UAV is doing a lot of good work. So my Adi did something. Is a guy right above here? It's a Nova, right? They're coming. That Fafner needs to go because he's scary. Component destroyed. And again, I'm gonna face him. Didn't kill standard engine, obviously. And, you know, since he's a stick, we go to the next best target, which is the Timby. And then deal with him later. Oh, that's the bad boy. Yeah, that's the, the other stone rhino. I mean, we are a big block of metal holding this line here. More or less on our own. It's fine, man. <laughs> Do it again. Uh, I dropped my UAV in the wrong spot. Yeah, they're pulling back now. What are they looking at? Guys? Uh, should we push this? I am pushing between enemies. That's bad. There's the rhino. Two rhinos, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's two rhinos. It's too much for me alone. Uh, I want them to counter push me because I'm ready to fire. I will go to the spot so the others can. Two stone rhinos, Echo 4. Oh, here they come. Yeah, okay, so they attack now. Okay, now we can go. It's not a stone rhino. One of them is a marauder. Oh, we need to take him before he can take me. Got him. Double kill. Bam! <laughs> I was so ready for this. Oh, I love it. So, now, uh, backwards, I believe. I believe the enemies, the remaining ones, are in the circle. So, somewhere in the center of the whole situation. So, we're gonna move back and cut across. And there might be somebody in Echo 6. I think the Nova got attacked earlier? Okay. So, again, somebody has to be in the circle since the timer is not ticking. Uh, let's go ahead and try to find them. It might be not possible. Okay, one more down. Again, circle is still active. Somebody taunted us saying, you will never find me. Yeah, where would they be? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I would love to have another UAV by now. Okay. There so, is somewhere in the middle, so just check the corner from the circle. There is somewhere in the middle. Okay. You got him, though. Really nice. Now we have the dominance over the circle, so nobody's in here. That is a thing we know. And maybe... Maybe this is it? I don't know. There's a light mech somewhere. Possibly. There he is. It's an Orion. It's not a light mech, but it is a mech. And he's down. Hey, we did it. Man, I'm very happy. <laughs> So good, dudes. So good that we actually got Solaris City and the plan worked out in our favor. That was great. I think a thousand is possible. Yeah, a thousand damage, 500 taken, three killing blows, two kill most damage dealt, five assists. I am in love. So our big shotgun blaster actually... Uh, it performed and again, I am very happy. If you are happy because I put the video out, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Currently I'm pushing for 100,000 subscribers and you can make a difference here. So help me out a bit. It's completely free and you get notifications when a new video comes out. I hope to see you next time, guys. Goodbye.